Hey everyone, Live It Like Lisa here and in today's video I will be showing you how I created this ticket sign for my theatre room. Now this is a ticket sign that I've created using my Cricut Joy. It is a larger than mat project which means you'll be creating a either words or images that are typically larger than the actual cutting size of the Cricut Joy. So I've learnt this technique most recently. I watched a couple of tutorials on YouTube, believe it or not. And um, yeah, relatively easy way of doing it. And uh, I just thought I'd share it with you guys uh, today. So what we're doing first is I've just got a piece of very light plywood and I'm, these are just all scraps that we've had lying around the garage and you can see I'm making all my other signs at the same time. Um, yeah, I'm just giving this a couple of coats of this beige coloured wall paint. It's just regular wall paint I, don't, I like to use, nothing fancy. And I'm giving this about two coats just to lay a base down for my ticket sign. I've just gone in to the fonts and picked out the fonts that I want and I've sized them to the size that I want. To select your text, you click on the text button, you type in the text that you want and then click away. So you've got your word now. So you just go to font and you can select any font that you want to use. So say if you wanted this fancy font here, you can size it using this little drag tool here. You can flip it around, do all sorts of things with it. I've selected all the fonts and all the images I want. I'm going to separate the elements and then stick them on to my project separately. So I've welded all of these together so they're all ready to go. I'm going to print those separately. But before we do that, I want to show you how I'm going to split this ticket in half so that then we can join them together. Let's just hide all these. So if you click on the little eye here, it will hide all of the rest of the elements. So we've got our ticket here. Now this is 15 centimetres tall by 30, nearly 33 centimetres long. So the Cricut Joy, I think the maximum height or width is 11 centimetres, but I mean, lengthwise you can do up to six metres. So the length is not the problem, it's the height of the letters that we need to adjust. So what we're gonna do is basically cut this image down the middle so that we've got two separate pieces and then we're gonna join them when we stick it onto the sign. I've welded this together, so this is all one piece now. Go to shapes and click on just your basic square. Put this at the back to start with, so you can see. We're going to unlock the dimensions up here. There's a little unlock, and that way you can resize the square in one direction as opposed to it getting bigger equally. When you're cutting the image in half, you need to look for the easiest spot to cut your image. So if you can see here, that's pretty much going along straight lines. There'll be a tiny piece here. Maybe we can actually include that. I think there would probably be the best way. So I've only got two little random pieces here that I'm going to need to attach separately. But all the rest there, that's all going to be one cut. And then all the bottom piece is going to be one cut. We're going to do duplicate. I'll send that to the back so you can see how to align it up. And then we're just going to line it up with that one there. Okay, so that's going to be our split in the letters. All right, so what you want to do is select the bottom piece like that, and you're going to splice, and then we're going to select the top piece and splice. So then you can pull that part away, and then this part, we can actually get rid of and again t 
take all this away, not needed. All right, so we've got our two pieces. All right, so what I might do is I'm gonna do this all, all in one. So we'll see how the Cricut sets it all out. So we'll click make it. It's gonna put it all on the one cut. Um, again, I'm using my 20 foot Cricut Smart Vinyl. Okay, so it feeds it all the way through first just to make sure that you have enough vinyl. And now we just click go and let the little guy do its thing. So now I'm just going to cut out each of the individual elements a little bit closer um, around them so that it will help me when I'm setting it out on the sign itself. And then we're going to set it out on the sign, weed it all out, get all the bits and pieces off, and then attach it to the sign. That's the exciting bit. So I'm just setting out all the different pieces and where I want them to fit on the sign so I can get a rough idea of, you know, distancing and, and all and the layout basically. And I've just created a little border around the sign itself because I will be adding a border in. So I want to make sure that all my pieces are fitting within that border. And yeah, then it's just a matter of weeding everything out and sticking everything on. Next, we just put on our transfer tape. So this is the clear contact type tape that you put over your image so that then you can then apply it to your sign. So once your image has adhered to the clear contact, we then peel away the backing of the vinyl. Line it up where you want it to go. I'm just measuring to make sure it's evenly spaced. Then once you're happy with your placement, uh, rub it on with the Cricut scraper tool and peel away your clear backing sheet. Now we're going to do the same process for the bottom of the ticket sign, but we just need to make sure we are lining it up with the top, obviously, before we rub it on. Now I did find there was a couple of letters that weren't, weren't like quite aligned, like not perfectly. So I just did those individually and you'll probably see that in a minute. So I lined up most of them and then those that weren't quite, I think it was actually not that it didn't um, cut evenly, but I think it was just my actual clear transfer tape was a little bit stretched so or not quite stretched enough so it just wasn't aligning but I just did each letter individually and it worked out well sorry my big fat shoulders in the way but you can basically see what I'm doing here just aligning it up and and rubbing it on so I've got all my words and numbers on the ticket sign now and I just took it outside to sh like cut off the little end bits. I just did this with like a straight cutting saw and then I used a chisel to just get the curved angles. So they're not 100% perfect but once the border's on this ticket sign and it's all like distressed and done up, you're not really going to notice it. If I had the right cutting tool, I'd probably use it. But at the end of the day, this is good enough. It's good enough. It's rustic, it's homemade, and it's good enough. <laughs> and now I'm just using a thick black marker just to create a little bit of a border around this ticket sign. Now for some distressing. Is it a DIY by Live It Like Lisa if it doesn't involve chalk paint or distressing? I think not. <laughs> so we're using a little bit of brown acrylic paint to do some distressing around the edges and to give it a bit more of a dirty look to it. 
So what I've got, you probably can't see it on camera, but I've got a little bowl of water that I'm just using with this acrylic paint to water it down a bit so it's not such a thick consistency when I put it on. And I'm just using a sponge dabber to go around the edges first. And then we're going to go all over the sign with a bit of the watered down brown paint uh, to give it that dirty, rustic look. So there you go, guys. Here is a close-up of my ticket sign, all made with my Cricut Joy. Can you believe it? It's a tiny, tiny machine, but it definitely packs a punch. So yeah, don't think just because it, the, the machine is small that um, you can't make big projects with it. I'm really stoked with the way that's turned out. So that's going to go on my theatre room wall. How easy was that? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribing is free. All it will mean is that you'll get notified next time I post a video. And thanks for watching. See you in my next video.